You too. It's Avi Giovanni reporting live, driving 80 miles out the way. But I had to, I had to really um, do this video, man. It was pressing on my soul. Um, man, Michael Parsons. If you believe that Michael Parsons has to be mid, a middle linebacker because he played middle linebacker in college, you a goddamn fool. Michael Parsons doesn't have to be a middle linebacker in the system. He can be an edge rusher. You can move him to an outside linebacker. You can move him to your left outside linebacker. We're going to be running a multiple defense. We have Collins. We have Anzalone. Right now, we have a linebacker that's a thumper with Collins. And we have a coverage linebacker, Anzalone. On one of the edges, we can most likely stand up a choir in a 3-4 set. I'm going to get to the 4-3 in a minute, but check me out. In the 3-4 set, you have your two middle linebackers, Anzalone and Collins. Right? Then you have Michael Parsons to the left or to the right outside linebacker. Have him rush the passer. Work on his dropbacks because he can drop back. And you can have a choir pass rushing too. So in a 3-4, you can send five guys, six guys, or you can just be exotic with your blitzes. But Michael Parsons is being talked about like he's just he's just a hitter and he's not a covered linebacker. He's had deflections. He's had pass breakups. He's had interceptions, very small, minimal interceptions. But I believe that this dude is too good to pass up. Now, he's, a, he's truthfully an edge rusher. And if you want to talk about 4-3, let's talk about 4-3. You have Brockers. You have Panisi. Right? You have Aquara. And you have, you know, Davis. A guy we just signed. 4-3. You can still put Parsons at your outside linebacker. You can have Collins in there. Or Anzalone. Matter of fact, just put them both out there. It's not going to hurt nothing. You have the same set. You literally have the same set with just an extra guy in Panisi. And maybe Davis. You have the same exact set. And he can still go on blitzes. He can still tackle. He can still wrap up and beat somebody's ass. I just don't understand this idea where... He has to be a pure middle linebacker. Do you think Ray Lewis was a pure middle linebacker? You think someone's looked at Ray Lewis and said, like, oh, yeah, you're you're the first pick in the draft. No. They had all these crazy-ass knocks on him. And the first person drafted by the Baltimore Ravens that year was Jonathan Ogden. I, I just don't understand this. And then, like, the fifth or seventh pick, was Ray Lewis. So I just don't understand this like he has to be all perfect and shit like that. Cause Curry was Curry was perfect coming out of school. Remember um Curry in 2009 when Stafford came out? Oh yeah, he's, he's perfect coming out of school. This is the guy. 